Alrighty, it's time for another shoe review. We're gonna take a look at the Hoka Clifton 6 Wide Edition. All right, so running shoe review coming up. So I've been running in the Hoka One One Clifton 5 for quite a while now. Accumulated about 1200 kilometers, I think, in them before I was starting to feel like they lost a little bit of their responsiveness, maybe. Uh, they were a little unevenly um, tore down on the outer sole. And so it was time to get a new pair. So I thought, why not just give the newest version a try? The Hoka One One Clifton 6. And uh, I did, and I've run about, oh, I don't know, maybe um, 50, 60 kilometers or so yet in these shoes. And I like them, I really do. It wasn't my first choice in terms of the color. <laughs> I don't particularly think this color is awesome, but that was what they had. And it's not always easy to find my size. I, I wear a size 46 uh, in a European. That's, uh, that's 12 uh, in the US size. So it's not always easy to find my size. Uh, so that's why I went with this color scheme because they had my size. Uh, another thing that is interesting is that I like I have really wide feet, so I usually buy the wide version of the Hoka shoes. Some of the Hoka models, uh, like the Bondi, the Clifton, um, some of the other ones as well, are available as a wide uh, version, a little bit wider across the midfoot there, and so just across this area, they're a little bit wider, and that allows me just a little bit more space for my foot and it just feels a lot more comfortable for me. I wish they made more of their models available in a wide version as well. A few uh, details, specs if you will, I'm gonna put them up on the screen here, I don't remember all the numbers, but they're pretty light and they're a little bit lighter I think than the Clifton 5. Um, they're not a super light shoe, but for me with large feet and you know, uh, not really finding that many shoes that fit my wide foot. I typically end up with these shoes that are generally a little bit on the heavier side. Uh, I would love to try a super, super light shoe uh, at one point. But right now for me, like a trainer shoe, this is really good. It, it, the Clifton has a good balance of cushioning without being too cushioned, if you know what I mean. Like the Bondi, I like the Bondi too. I have a review of it, I'll put it here. Uh, the Bondi 6, that's super cushioned and I love that sometimes but it makes it pretty heavy and so this is a little bit lighter a little bit less cushioned and also a little bit more responsive of course uh, the drop from heel to toe I don't remember exactly what it is is it four or five millimeters I'll put it here um, low drop shoe obviously allows you f uh, to run with a natural running form uh, land midfoot ideally but everyone's different, of course, so that's not really that essential. But, um, you know, just a flatter shoe typically tends to feel better for me. And I used to run in zero drop ultra shoes. I now prefer a little bit of drop, like what the Hoka shoes typically offer. Uh, you know, three to five or six millimeters. That's really ideal for me. Uh, and so this feels good on the foot. Uh, the drop feels nice. The shoe is fairly light. It's It's not... It's, it's pretty flexible, but it's not the, uh, the most flexible shoe. It has a little bit of spring and a stiffness to it, but it's obviously not like the um, Carbon X uh, model, which I also have, which is like super responsive. Um, I felt like it was a little bit more responsive, maybe or a little harder um, than the Hoka Clifton 5. So the Clifton 5 felt a little softer on the landing. This felt a little bit more firm, which Personally, I didn't like actually that much. I, I actually look forward to a, a soft landing and this, this is pretty firm, I find. But I mean, it's still well cushioned, feels good. Uh, it's a good shoe. It's, it's, you know, it's a fairly all around shoe if you look at the, the sole. Uh, so of course made ideally for pavement, but perhaps also gravel. It's pretty nice on the gravel too. It's not a trail shoe really. And if you're on the trail, you'd probably want a little bit less cushion and a little bit more traction underneath, obviously. But even if you do venture into the trails with these shoes, like I do sometimes, 
I find that they are they're fine they they you know they're fine they're just not good for like gnarly extreme conditions the upper is really comfortable it's really it's stretchy and it's just overall comfortable I think maybe with the Clifton both the five and now the six the thing that feels the most appropriate to say about it is that it's just so comfortable it's it's probably the most comfortable shoe I've ever tried. I haven't tried that many shoes, but it's just, especially with the wide version, being able to really fit your foot in there, at least my foot, which is pretty wide, and the comfortable upper, and you know, the good cushioning uh, without being too much. I just feel like it's a very good all around shoe um, that just feels good on the foot, does the job. Uh, you can use it for long runs, but you can even use it for some faster runs as well. It feels somewhat responsive and pretty pretty light uh, compared to some other heavier shoes. So overall, I'm very happy about it. Um, and I would definitely recommend it. I'm not affiliated, of course, with Hoka. Um, so I bought this shoe with my own money and I'm just recommending it. But if you do wish to buy it, perhaps, you could check it out. There's a link in the description. That's an affiliate link to Amazon. Okay, so you can go on Amazon to buy the shoe there. And if you do, the price remains the same for you, but I actually get a little bit of a commission for sending you there. So if you wanna support uh, my channel, uh, and then you could do that and it doesn't cost you anything. And so go check out that link. And of course, I also offer coaching. If you're interested in a custom training plan, perhaps, or online coaching as well, uh, there's a link in the description to my um, website, MGJ Coaching. So do check that out. And also I have a ton of other videos about running shoes, running books, and running in general, training tips and all that sort of stuff. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some of those other videos. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day. Happy running. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Hoka Clifton 6.